This technique allows us to measure antibiotic susceptibility under more clinically relevant conditions. The technique also allows us to determine the true antibiotic concentration that can kill bacteria in aggregates. This technique can be applied to determining the concentration needed for eliminating GC aggregates. The method can also be applied to measuring the antimicrobial susceptibility of any bacteria that is able to form aggregates. Pay careful attention to the lysis steps to ensure the lysis is complete. Otherwise, the ATP measuring assay will underestimate the number of viable bacteria. Visualization of this method will allow other researchers to follow and replicate this experiment with consistency. Begin by streaking Neisseria gonorrhea, or GC strains, on GCK agar supplemented with 1% Kellogg. For a 16 to 18 hour incubation at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. The next morning, use a light microscope to carefully select pili negative colonies without dark edges or pili positive colonies with dark edges from each plate and streak the picked colonies onto new GCK plates for a 16 to 18 hour culture at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. The next morning, use a sterile applicator to collect GC colonies from each plate and resuspend each swab in warm broth supplemented with 4.2% sodium bicarbonate and 1% Kellogg solution. Measure the optical density at 650 nanometers or OD650 to determine the concentration of the suspended bacteria and adjust the GC concentration to about 1%.